Hello, welcome back to an update of AI Assist. Let's first talk about Doctor and where it fits into the uh, strategy that I'm working on. So right now I'm working on Docker files because as I mentioned earlier, I think there are three common denominators amongst almost all projects. It's that they're Dockerized, they're deployed uh, to Kubernetes and they are using CI CD. So I started by collecting data, in this case, Docker files. I need to parse them, but there was no good parser around that suits machine learning purposes. So I started building my own parser. And then I figured, well, um, now that I have a parser, it would be good to also um, lint or analyze these Docker files to see what is actually already a violation of it. So then I just build a simple set of rules to uh, get the most major faults out of those files. And that became the product Doctor, which I decided to publish so to create awareness for it, also to be able to use it myself and others to get feedback, which uh, I got more on that in a sec. Now the next step is to start pre-processing, which we can then use for training models. Uh, once those models are there and they are good, we can feed them back into the um, into into Docker. And ultimately, the goal is to be able to create a Docker file uh, purely based on the repository and the code that's in it. Uh, no manual interference should be needed to create a Docker file. And what this will do is it will allow um, developers to get rid of the concept of having a Docker file in the repository and just having the Docker file be generated during the build time. Uh, the Docker file is stored as an artifact in the in the pipeline, so it is always available that you know how the Docker image was created. Um, but it will me make sure that the Docker file is never still; it's never out of date. There are no vulnerabilities because it's constantly updated. Basically, at build time, the best Docker file for that application at that moment is determined, and it's built according to that Docker file. That's the uh, the bigger vision. So it will be an uh, assistant um, that will create Docker files entirely for you. However, at this point, yeah, I'm working on, on Docker, which is the, uh, the rule-based system, which will allow me to parse Docker files, like a lot of Docker files, so it can find patterns between them and learn what makes them good or bad and see how we can um, optimize them. So as I mentioned, I got some feedback I posted on social media, which I never do. I posted on Reddit and LinkedIn. I posted in three subreddits, Python, Docker, and GitLab. And I got quite a good result after a week. So I got 27 new stars on, on the Docker repository. I got six new issues, uh, of which two were user submitted. And I also got a few duplicates, which I'm not counting here. I got over 125,000 total views of, of Docker, 144 shares, which is, uh, I think, great. People are sharing it. This is not attributed into the views, I guess. I got a lot of new uh, connections on LinkedIn. Uh, a lot of developers, DevOps engineers reached out to me. And I got four forks. Hopefully, those forks will lead to a, pull, a merge request to, uh, to the Docker main repository. So, um, there seems to be quite a bit of enthusiasm for this, um, just purely the parser and analyzer itself. And I think once I get to this phase, it will become much more powerful. Let's emphasize where Doctor currently lives and probably will be. So I took this image from, um, from our CI uh, pipeline page and this is the standard process. A developer uh, makes a new branch, pushes code, uh, the pipeline runs and it fails. And then they're going to change uh, push code fixes. And what Doctor does is it will automatically resolve issues. Not all of them. Right now it resolves Docker file issues and potentially also shell issues. Uh, and it creates a merge request. And I've learned this week that, there are, that we have a UI for merge request res resolutions, which is much better than what I was currently doing. So that would be very good to integrate. Um, and yeah, so basically it reduces a step. However, Doctor can also run in your IDE, so you can just even prevent the pipeline from failing. But this is where it currently lives. How does that compare to container scanning, for example? Well, container scanning happens after the build. And in this way, by 
analyzing the Docker file here, we don't have to spend time on a build because we know it's going to be a bad build. Um, let's not waste the I minutes on that, uh, only to then find out that container scanning does not approve. So we are shifting left. Another tool that we have that is basically in the same area is the infrastructure as code uh, scanning, which I found to be very interesting. So for my playground project, I have enabled it. And this is the result on my faulty Docker file, which uh, I, I know that it has a lot of uh, faults in it. So all in all, we got four violations of rules. But if we take a look at Docker, Docker will report a lot more uh, violations. And probably some of these should be included in Docker as well. So if we take a look at what Docker has found us in this branch. So if we go to the pipeline uh, with the Docker results, we will see that there are a few more uh, results like this one, verify that no credentials are leaking by copying in sensitive files. Yeah, it's doing a copy dot. And if we don't have a proper doc ignore, it could very well include sensitive files, uh, which it says on the next one. And this one is critical. Verify that build arcs doesn't contain sensitive information. There is a build arc here, which says, um, I think it's API token. And then uh, it's asking for a secret or it's an arc secret. That shouldn't be there because um, those build arcs get stored in the history of the Docker file. So yeah, if you take a look at infrastructure as code, um, there's a lot of overlap with it, uh, but it also goes a bit further than it. Maybe we can uh, even replace our Docker file scanning with Docker. And the last part that I want to mention for this update is that I've released version 1.4.0 for Docker which adds a lot of uh, new features and bug fixes, which uh, was great. It was a lot of fun to um, actually work on stuff that people um, ask for. Um, next week I'm on PTO and after that I will continue work on this and see how I can start working on something that will be automatically generating the um, code for the Docker file. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have a question uh, or reach out to me on Slack. Bye bye.